Welcome once again to Stage 5 to Republica at the Global Innovation Gathering. Before I'm going to invite a very illustrious round of panelists here to the stage, I want to say my usual sentence, what the Global Innovation Gathering is, which takes place for the third time in a row at Republica and together with Republica, and together for the first time, and we are happy about this, with the Vodafone Institute, who is actually running the next panel. Okay, I would like to invite now the panelists. It's Sarah, she's Berlin-based School of Data. We have Nadira <laughs> from the iHub Research, Kenya. Once again, you're always running here, Sheila Berger. from CTIC and Incubator for Senegal. And the very person who actually rocked this show here, David Deisner, head of strategy for the Vodafone Institute. And actually, I just found out a couple of days ago, we came to know each other in a philosopher seminar 15 years ago. So as you can see, there are jobs for philosophers nowadays. <laughs> Please enter the stage here. different data about the mobility of their users, uh, different data um, about the, um, the localization of those, and also the length of the call, the duration of the call, uh, and all those kind of things. And of course, you know, they put all the data that they already have, that they naturally collect uh, for make your invoice, and they anonymized it. And we're going to talk uh, again about that, the anonymization, sorry for my English. Uh, I don't know what you say in English. <laughs> um, this part is very complicated. So, so that's why you know it's, uh, we've been working pretty hard on that. And so we have them you know, reach out to the research community in Senegal uh, and also globally. So we used uh, the data from Senegal but open to the entire worldwide research community. So you have 260 research labs working on that, uh, including 11 from Senegal. And there's going to be another question we're going to raise uh, is the ownership of this science. And that, that, that has to be. Uh, in emerging countries, if you use the data that we have in emerging countries. Uh, and after a few, few months of research, actually it was a year-long program, we had 60 papers submitted, scientific uh, papers submitted. 40% of them uh, were talking about transport. I haven't seen anything like this since the advent of using DNA to solve cases, right? So that was the last big uh, revolution in policing and intelligence, right? To solve cases. Now in policing, if I get a case that comes into me, say for example a missing person, dad calls me and says my daughter's missing, I need you to help me find her. Just seven years ago I would say, okay, what's all your daughter's friends, what's her cell phone number, I would drive around, I would try and contact her friends and, and spend hours trying to find her daughter, his or her daughter. Now with social media, the first question I ask him is, what's her Facebook account, what's her Twitter account? And 30 seconds later I found 
his daughter, right? I hate my dad, I don't want to talk to him. I don't care, just, yeah, I just need to know that you're okay, right? So, it's, Thank you. 